So in the last episode, we talked about adding a transition effect to our hover effects inside the CSS file. Now, I did actually talk about at one point adding an image inside our new section, and we didn't actually do that yet. As you guys may notice, we did actually mess around with the background color of our new image inside our new section. And we don't really have an image yet. And I did actually in an early episode comment out the way to insert an image, but I didn't actually show you guys physically in person you know how to do this so let's go ahead and add an image and add a transition effect to it so if i go into my root folder you guys will actually notice that inside my images i added two pictures i added a cat with blue eyes and i wanted to transition or at least turn the eyes into an orange color by adding a second image inside my hover effect so what we can do here is if i go into my code and go down and let's just let's just go ahead and comment out the transition for now because I'd like to add the transition at the very end to show you guys that it works. So let's just go ahead and comment that out. Like so. Now down in our hover effect, instead of a background color being red, we're just gonna go ahead and delete that one because we don't need that. And up in our news image, let's go ahead and delete our background color. So now we're gonna delete the comment for our background image, which is background dash image, colon, URL, parentheses, and then we have, well, we don't have the quotes, we have the single quotes in here, but you could also use double quotes. And in here, we need to specify the path to our image. So right now, if I were to take a look at my root folder, you guys will notice that I have it inside a folder called image, IMG. So if we were to go into my code and say, well, we have a folder called IMG, backslash which means we're going inside the folder and then I have an image in here called I don't actually know what I called it let's just go ahead and look at that cat.jpg so I did actually mention one episode that you could use jpegs pngs all kinds of you know image files and you can do that I just chose to use jpeg for this episode so we're going to go ahead and take our cat.jpg and change it into cat-hover.jpg so in here we have a image called cat.jpg. Then I'm gonna go ahead and copy the code and paste it below here inside my hover effect. And then I'm gonna change it from cat.jpg to cat-hover.jpg, which is the name of my hover image. So if I save it now, go into my browser, refresh, you guys will notice that we don't actually get anything. Why don't we do that? Okay, so I did actually find out why we can't see the image and I feel kind of stupid now because this is an error that I did actually run into earlier in one of the earlier episodes. And it's simply because I'm not used to being inside a, you know, a style sheet folder inside my root folder. So we do actually need to tell it that we're inside our style sheet. So we need to go back a folder by writing dot dot backslash on both of these, like so. And now we need to go inside a folder called image. And I don't know why I keep making this error but let's just go ahead and refresh our browser and you guys will notice that we get an image. So now if I hover with my cursor on the image, you guys will see it does actually change color. Now, like I said, we wanted to smoothly transition and I need to talk about something which is just as I refresh the browser, you guys will notice that there was kind of like a pop where the image turned white and then went back to the hover effect, which is something that happens when you go to the uh, to the page for the first time and hover on the image for the first time and it's when you switch out the background image that this happens so you can't actually avoid this by not having the image like i just had it we can actually use just one image for the entire hover effect by having the images put on top of each other and then simply move the background image inside the div box instead now doing it this way will prevent it from popping when we hover on top of the image but we won't be able to add a transition to it since the background image is slowly gonna move around inside the dip box. So the popping thing is something you're gonna have to live with doing it this way if you want to add a transition to it. So going into my code, let's just go ahead and comment out, or not comment out, but remove the comment to our transition, save it, refresh our browser, and you guys will notice that it slowly turns orange once I hover in it. So this is a really nice way to do hover effect on top of images. And it's just simply a nice way to do things, I think. So this is essentially how you insert a background image inside a div box, even though we did actually go through it without me really showing you guys. 
Well, we did with the logo, but I would like to show it with you guys with a transition effect and a hover effect and all that good stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I'll see you guys next time.